Hey everyone, it's Gem and Jess, and in this video I'll be doing another whip and chat, also known as a work in progress in chat. If you're new to my channel, then welcome, and if you're not, then welcome back. My work in progress today is going to be on this diamond painting that you see right here, and this painting is called Bumblebee, and it is from Distracted by Diamonds. And let me grab the original image for you. Uh, let's see here. This canvas is a size 50 by 65 centimeter. It's a full round drill. Okay, here's a picture of the original image. Okay. Um, which is which was created by Jasmine Castillo, the artist. Um, and I will be, oh, and I'll be, I wanted to show you, I'm going to be working on this section. Let's see here. Um, right, like, where my thumb nail is, right around there. Okay. Um, so yeah, and if you would like to, please grab one of your work in progress projects and join me. Um, also disclaimer, I tend to use swear words in my whip chat videos and I most likely will today. So fair warning, I will put the link to this painting and to where I got all the accessories that I'll be using in the video down below in the description box in case you want to check those out yourself. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all the basics. I hope everyone uh, had a good week and is going to have a great weekend this weekend. Oh my God, I just saw the news about Florida. I'm so many prayers to you guys. Like that is crazy. What they say, like 30 tornadoes in one day. Like, didn't I just say in my last video, like that the government was screwing with our weather? Like, homie, that is crazy. I'm, I just feel terrible for those people. Like, I can't even imagine. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. I always forget. Hold on. So sorry. I'm like, I always forget to turn my phone on Do Not Disturb. It's like, and it's crazy because no one will hit me up ever until I'm filming. I swear. It's like, it never fails. Okay. But anyways, how are you guys? I hope you guys are doing great. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, prayers to anyone in Florida. Oh my gosh. Um, it's just devastating to watch like so crazy I'm so sorry that's just nuts but yeah so I'm definitely praying for those people down there I just you know it sucks but yeah so I just wanted to let you guys know that in case anyone that is watching lives in Florida you know um but yeah like how was my week freaking lame and I will tell you why um let me get a color and I might do a little rant in this video and if I do I'm apologizing in advance I just want to like you know, um, to a certain person, AKA my boyfriend. So let's do 602, shall we? Um, yeah, like first off, okay, well, I was really sick for like about a week and a half almost. Like, I don't know, I did some videos someday or a video, whip and chat video uh, some days back or something, but it sucked because like I was really sick still, but I still wanted to check in, you know, like. I feel like I'm still on probation with you guys, like, because I ghosted, you know, for so long, but, so yeah, I just, oh, and I had that cool unboxing. Oh yeah, speaking of, before I get into it, unboxings, like, okay, I, I happened to say, or I had said, and I meant it at the time, that I wasn't going to do unboxings on my channel anymore, that was like the first web and chat I did after like three years of not being on YouTube, right? Dude, tell me why, like, so many people hit me up in my DMs after that, like, why aren't you doing unboxing anymore? Like, like, my bad, I didn't know it was so serious, like, I mean, I was assuming you guys were, like, didn't care, one, because, like, who's, who am I? Nobody really, you know, especially in the realm of YouTube, and second of all, like, go to any other channel and they have unboxings, but, you know, I'm not gonna, like, make my subscribers pissed off or like mad or like butthurt because I don't want to do unboxings because I, I guess I was thinking like you guys were like so people a lot of people were over it apparently not apparently I was very wrong on that so okay I take that back then I meant it at the time but I don't mean it now I guess I am going to be doing unboxings only because a lot of people were not happy with that <laughs> after I said it and I was really surprised that I even got like, people even brought it up, so, my bad people. Okay, so, psych on that. Well, I guess there will be unboxings now. Um, also, uh, what, okay, so yeah, I got that out of the way. What else did I wanted to say before I forgot? I think that was it. I just want to make sure. 
have to write it down, everything that I might talk about, because I have no memory whatsoever. I'm so fried. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that was it. I hope. Okay, yeah. Alright, so, unboxing's done. Check. <laughs> okay, so, like I was saying, I was sick. You know, blah, blah, blah. Got better. And, of course, so rent was due, okay? And, as usual, we were late. Well, I mean, it's not like as usual because here where I live now, they're like, you have, th you can be late three times a year only and late means you have till the fifth from the first to the fifth. But really that's like the law, like you're allowed to pay up till the fifth, but whatever they call it late supposedly. So if we don't pay by the fifth of the, f of each month or, or of the first of the month, you know, like whatever before the fifth, I should say, then after that, we get a $75 late fee. We only can do it three times during the year because if we do it four times, they kick us out. And if we don't pay three days after the fifth with the late fee, we get a three day, we have three to five days, I think, to evict. I'm like, um, cute, like, that's great. Um, and tell me why I've, I'm only on my third year living here, like in this park or whatever, and they've literally raised the rent on us Forty dollars every single year we've been here since, like, at, like at all, you know. The first year they raised it, the second year, and now this year they raised it. It's like, cool. So you're gonna do it again next year or what? Like, we went from you know five fifty to now freaking almost seven fifty. Like, what's next? Year? Like by the time our lease is up, it's gonna be like a thousand dollars. Like, not even joking if they keep it at this rate. Like, I told Sammy, I'm like, look, I know we haven't lived here that long, but I'm like, we're already thinking about moving again. <laughs> Like, I almost wish we didn't, but, you know, I didn't really have a say in it. I mean, even if I did say something, it's not like I had a choice because, um, apparently, Sammy's dad likes to, um, treat him like a freaking 14-year-old and he likes it because he puts up with it. Like, <laughs> uh, the life I live, you guys. Anybody else have in-laws like that? Where it's just like, I, I can't even, I can't even deal with, I can't, I've tried to be nice, I, I held my tongue back for years and years and years, which is already hard for me to do, but now it has gone to this, oh, block, oh, your number, your dad, block, block, don't know, block, don't know where he is, block, that's how it is, like, literally, F off, like, I don't care about anything you have to say, homie, like, that's your son's issue, not mine. Could you imagine, like, I couldn't even imagine my dad calling Sammy and being like, Hey, did you, did Jessica pay rent? He is seven years older than me. Like, why are you treating your 40, almost 44, 45 year old son like a freaking 15 year old? Like, what? What, like, is going on? Am I living in real life? Like, oh, if my dad did that sh shit to Sammy, oh, he'd be cut off. First of all, he never would. My dad would never, never. Like, we don't do that shit where I'm from. Like, no. Like, um, dad, can you wipe my ass even though I'm almost 45 years old? Like, that's not happening here, okay? I mean, I even told his dad this, by the way. Me and his dad got in a huge fight, you guys. Like, before I came back to YouTube. Oh my gosh. But that, I'll save that for another video because <laughs> that is a long story. But I literally just told him, like, you need to fucking stop babying your 45 year old son like cut the cord homeboy you know what i'm saying like what is going on here like i mean i thought i got lucky because sammy's mom isn't around i mean that's sad and everything but you know she died like when i don't know when i was like in high school or something she's been you know she passed away a long time ago you know which is sad and everything so but see my stupid ass thinking oh cool so i don't have to deal with no you know mama you know, um, mama's boy shit, like, oh, man, did I curse myself on saying that shit, like, straight up, I mean, I think this is worse, ten times worse, matter of fact, like, what is going on, like, are you guys, like, it's, like, I hate to say this, <laughs> but I don't care, because I'm so irritated right now with his dad and him, it's like, do you guys date, like, did you guys have some weird incestuous shit growing up, because, I'm confused. Like, his dad gets jealous of me, dude. Like, it's so weird. And he does it with Sammy's brother, too. We found out, by the way, with his uh, wife. 
and they're like married and have kids like they're like in a real real relationship you know like vows and shit like i'm just like dude you're you need to get a life like you are retired go away like shit. i mean i don't know maybe it's just because my parents usually want nothing to do with me and never really have that it's just too much for me can you guys let me know if, if i'm just being a biatch because <laughs> maybe that's the case because i've just not i've never known that type of like calling and checking in and being obsessed with am i being responsible you know what i mean like hell no my parents at 18 my parents were like see you i wouldn't want to be you sorry about your luck like literally that's how my parents were you know like and it's like he gets his hand held all the way till now i'm just like what why do you even want that like why do you even <laughs> ew I'm a grown-ass woman, like, you ain't gonna help me with nada, but I am very prideful, okay, that is true, but still, like, I don't like depending on nobody for nothing, I don't want people to freaking, like, literally make me feel like I'm so stupid that I can't take care of myself, like, hell to the no, like, but, whatever, dude, whatever, all I can say is, Sammy's dad pissed me off to the point, because I forgot, because we were late last month, too, or, no, 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 not last month. It was July or something. Like, you know, the whole, oh, we, we couldn't pay you to the, you know, up to the fifth or whatever. Stupid crap. So, and I forgot that we had three days, right, to pay. Well, because I literally didn't even have time to think about anything, his dad is blowing out my phone. Why my phone? Because Sammy doesn't have a phone. Even though it is super inappropriate, like boundaries, homeboy, you know what I mean? But he don't know what the hell that means. So... <laughs> Oh, where's Sammy? Did he pay rent? Like, no. Oh, you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna get kicked out. I'm like, well, no shit, Sherlock. I'm pretty sure I know how shit wor works, dude. You know what I mean? Like, no, no, no. You need to tell him. To I ain't telling him nothing. He knows what's up. He knows what the hell's going down. Like, dude. Like, cry me a river. Like, your son's 45 years old. Like, go away. Oh, and then he has the audacity to say. If I pay the rent for you guys, <laughs> he said, if I pay the rent for you guys, I'm moving over there. I'm moving in with you guys and Sammy's going to have to listen to me. Sir, your son is 43 years old and you're saying your son has to listen to you because you paid one month of a rent when we've paid every month ourselves first. And I, I said, first of all, that's never going to happen. Stop kidding yourself and being delusional. That's what I told him. You know what's up, dude. Sammy don't even listen to me when it's, he don't even listen to himself when he knows it. Something is better for him or safe, for, safer for him. He still does it, does it against himself. Like that's literally an Aquarius for you. Sorry if you are one, but I don't know if females are different, but that's definitely how men are. You know, it's just like, they're weird. You know, they like to be rebels and like, whatever. It's just, ugh. I said, so second, I said, first of all, you're delusional and kidding yourself. You really think that's ever going to happen? Him listening to you, like, <laughs> get out of here second of all i said if you pay rent and move in here i said i'd rather be homeless like tell me now i'll start packing straight up i don't care goodbye because you guys don't know this but that's already happened and we tried that already and there's a reason why he ain't here still his dad okay that like i said that's another story for another day but like who do you think you're talking to like like, I just, like, you're whack. Like, both you and your son, straight up. Like, and I told, and so finally, I'm stressed. So now I'm stressed out, right? I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to get kicked out. I'm going to, we have all this crap three days. You know, I'm just like, I got to get a hotel. You know, I'm thinking the worst because my dumb ass didn't stop and think that his dad was lying again. He's known for this, like, drama, lying, you know, all this crap. And it's like... So I was crying all day, stressed out, because Sammy, his phone broke. Because, once again, you know, he was, um, effing around and broke his phone. He literally breaks his phone every month if he has one. So, yeah, nothing new. So I couldn't get a hold of him, and he was supposed to show up for rent. He didn't, and so I was all stressed out, thinking we were going to get an eviction notice, right? And then I'm like, my mom, I start talking to my mom, because I'm like freaking, I'm like, Mom, I don't know what the hell to do, like... Like, I was, like, you know, Sammy, like, cause Sammy, when it comes to rent, like, last minute, he comes through. But I was worried because he went pretty far for work and he was alone and he didn't have a phone. Even though I told him to take mine, you know, he won't do that because it's the smarter thing to do. So, so I was really more worried about Sammy, not, 
mean, yeah, rent too, but more about him because it's just not like him to not show up when he knew we had like the, a certain time, you know, for rent. So my mom's like, who are you getting, like after the a few minutes in the combo, she's like, who are you getting your info from? They can't just kick you out in like a day or whatever. Like, like the rent was just up on the 5th. It's only the 7th. And, I, and when she said that, I was like, you know what, dude? You're right. I, was, I am so stupid. I have three days, first of all, so we still have till tomorrow. You know, this is what I'm thinking. I'm like, his dad's just fucking gassing me up, gaslighting me or whatever. Like, because he's like, oh, well, the manager said they're going to call the attorney tonight. It's like, dude, you are so smoked out and bullshitting. Like, shut the hell up. And I don't care if, even if that was true, but it's not. You're trying to scare us into paying rent. Like, you're the dumbass that signed the five-year lease and made us move. We didn't even know this was going to happen or ask for it. I liked where we lived. Yeah, it was hella ghetto and it sucked. But at least I wasn't flat broke every month because of it. Like, you know, it's just like... Sorry, guys. I'm totally going on a rant. I'm so irritated right now. But long hair don't care at the moment because I want to kill them. Both of them. Like, I really do. I mean, not really... You know, not really just, I say that for legal purposes, you know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, so, oh, and then not even just, so, okay, I'm all stressed out. Sammy shows up. What do you know? We pay rent. Everything's fine. And that's when I blocked his dad off my phone. I said, okay, rent's paid block. Not my problem if you can't get a hold of your son because he decides not to have a phone that works. Not my problem. He wants to be responsible. I don't give a shit. Luckily for me, my parents, if I'm lucky, try and say hi to me once a month, so I don't have to worry about that anyway, but I don't break my cell phones. I've had the same one for like two years, so. <laughs> yeah. And then, and another thing, so, so okay, that happened, right? That was like a stressful as hell two, three days. And then, genius over here likes to bring people over here, like, his jobs are like sporadic he's like on call it's like construction basically it sucks you know and so he was gonna go do this job he was supposed to go get his trailer tire fixed hour goes by two hours go by three four five it's like nine o'clock at night now i'm like what the hell where are you like we need the money we're broke i'm starving we have no food you know just talking shit and he's like Oh, I'm over here. Zach, we you know it was a mission. We couldn't get the tire under. I'm like, I told, I gave you money. I gave you 10 or 15 bucks, whatever it was, to go get the damn thing fixed if he didn't have a stupid tire thing there, whatever it was, a machine or something, right? But no, you want to jack off and hang out with your homeboys and do God knows what. You know what I mean? It's like, so now it's 9 o'clock at night. And I'm just like, okay, all right. Then he proceeds to bring his little friend over here last night. And I'm like, dude. And then they're like, oh my god, there's cops outside. So fucking what? What are you guys doing? Are you guys doing something you shouldn't be doing? Like, get your shit and go to work. You know, like, why did you bring this dumbass over here anyway? That's what I told him, you know? Like, this fool's all tweaked out or something. I can all sketched out for no fucking reason. Like, he's obviously he's tripping. Like, who is this person? Like, I thought this guy was, like, just someone you barely knew. And now you're bringing him to my house? Like... Dude, I'm sorry, you guys, but when it comes to my house, I'm so weird. Like, probably because I've been through so much crap in my life and, like, been to trap houses and stuff growing up and not by choice, you know? It's like, I don't want people I don't know at my pad. You just don't know, especially here where I live. It's the hood, dude. Like, they'll be scoping shit out and then go rob you later, you know? I just, I don't know these people. Like, and Sammy Mr. Oh, I want to be popular freaking brings everyone and their mom over here, like... Like, it's the freaking thing to do, you know? It's like... So then we get in a fight. Because he knows how I feel about his loser friends, you know, coming over. I mean, not saying they're all losers, but... You know, most of them. And I hate to be, like, judgmental like that. But I can be judgmental like that. Because I've lived... I've lived there, been there, done that. Like, you know? And it's like... I'm trying to elevate, not go backwards. Apparently you're not, Sammy, because you're bringing these people over here who's scared of the cops outside. Like, unless you're doing something you shouldn't be doing, they're not going to mess with you. I mean, okay, maybe, because, yeah, Sammy's Mexican, and sometimes they're, actually, a lot of times they're really racist over here, but still. You know, like, who cares if you're not doing anything wrong? You know, like, well, I know Sammy wasn't, but I don't know about the other dude. You know what I mean? So it's like, 
So I told him, I'm like, well, you know what? Here's an idea. You two, get your shit and get the hell out. Sammy, you can go to work and you can do whatever the hell you want, but you ain't staying here. That's what I told him. Like, I was just straight bitch mode on last night after that. You know, like, I was so done. I mean, I'm still done. Like, I, Sammy hasn't been back since. He left, like, around 12.30, 1 o'clock in the morning. You know, God forbid I want to sleep at a decent hour. Like, nope, can't happen. It's just like, dude. Then he gets all mad, and I'm like, I don't care. Oh, fuck you. You know, just talking shit to me. I'm like, okay, peace. And luckily, it's, like, almost 10 in the morning here. But he hasn't been back yet. Good. Good. It's actually smarter if you don't come back until tonight or tomorrow, actually, because <laughs> I'm still, like, on aggro mode. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah, that was my fun week. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Why didn't I just stay single? Girls, if you're single, do the right thing and stay that way. I promise you it's worth it. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I just can't handle this. Like, it'd be different if he was, like, mature and, like, not retarded half the time, but... And had a dad that wiped his butt at 45 years old. But I'm just saying. So, yeah. Let's all pray for Jessica this week that she doesn't have to deal with any dumb BS the rest of the week. Hey, guys. Thanks. If you could, that'd be awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. Um that wonderful uh, current events or whatever the hell happened and let's see here anything else that you probably don't want to hear me rant about that I missed um okay no I don't think so yeah it was just a week of crying stress irritation and hell so yay <laughs> good times um also let's see here let's move on to another subject um, oh, I was watching another YouTube creator's whip and chat. Her channel is Diamond, Diamonds and Thoughts. Hi, Marissa, if you're watching. Um, she also does diamond painting content. Go check her out. I'll also put her channel's link down below. She's awesome. She rocks. Super sick. She, I love her videos, and she's, like, she's n consistent as heck. You know what I'm saying? And, like, dude, I didn't even know she was, like, kind of new. Not really, but kind of. Like, I would have never known, like... She's got really good content, okay? So go check her out. But anyways, um, she was saying in her last women chat that uh, the YouTube channel Emerald and Fairy Lights, I think she is the host of Drills and Chills or one of them. Um, she had said that any creator could do these like fall questions, right? Let me get another color. And um, I was like, oh, cool. So I'm going to do that because I don't have much to talk about except obviously the rant I just did. You know what I mean? So I was like, yeah, I'm down to do that. So I know I'm not doing drills and chills, like definitely not. Um, I think I've done it like once, but I like to, when I do diamond painting events, I like to know a little bit ahead of time, not much, like maybe a week, three, four, three days, you know, but I needed to have some like preparance, you know what I'm saying? And I don't have a canvas or anything for it, so I'm not doing it this year, but. But she said, even though like no dr drills and chills, like a cr creators can do these questions. So I'm gonna do it, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. Um, for this video anyways. <laughs> Alright, so. I'm going to begin these questions. <laughs> Fall questions, okay. Um, let's see here. First one. What is your favorite fall drink? Okay, I literally had to Google this. Because, like, what is that, you know? <laughs> but. I guess, like, if I had to pick one. Um like hot apple cider but like I never drink it I don't think I've had it for years but it is bomb like I love I love apple anything applesauce apple juice apple cider you know I love all that stuff so I guess it would be that um would it make a good drink for your diamond painting time only if it has a lid on it I refuse to drink anything like hence Starbucks without a lid like I will not do it around my diamond paintings even then I'm like kind of sketched um, and food is just a definite no-no around my paintings. Definite no-no, because I've learned, or made that mistake before and learned that lesson, so. So, I mean, yeah, I would make a good diamond painting drink, I guess, but only if it with a lid on it, you know? Um, what is your favorite fall treat? I don't really know. Like, I don't know if this is considered fall. I hope so. Would it be banana nut bread? Like, I'm obsessed with banana nut bread. 
preferably Starbucks, but or homemade, just saying. I make bomb banana nut bread. I like pumpkin bread too, though, but not like all the time. Like banana nut bread, I could literally eat it any time of the year, but pumpkin bread, it's like here and there, you know? I like pumpkin pie too sometimes. Apple pie though, oh, anytime. Pecan pie, anytime, like fire. So yeah, um, would you, what does it say? Would you snack on it? Well, diamond painting, absolutely not. Bread around my diamond painting with the crumbs falling down on it? Nope, never gonna happen. So yeah, that's a no. <laughs> um, what is a classic Halloween movie according to, according to you, do you watch it every year? Like all I could think of right away is the movie Halloween when I read that question. I guess Halloween would be a classic Halloween movie, am I wrong? <laughs> um, but no, I don't watch it every year. I used to watch it a lot when I was younger, but what I do watch every year though, which is a hollow uh, to me another classic Halloween movie, would be Nightmare Before Christmas, even though it's kind of more like Christmassy, like, but it can be Halloween too, obviously, so I'm obsessed with Nightmare Before Christmas. Obsessed. So yeah, I do watch that every year. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry, gosh. I still have the phlegm for my bronchitis, so I really apologize. I know that's not something you want to hear, but I'm sorry about the coughs if it happens again. Uh, let's see here. What is your favorite fall or Halloween diamond painting pen? I don't have one. Like, I'm not a seasonal person. Like, I'm really not. Like, I don't know. I just feel like if you're gonna, because it's not like diamond painting pens are like five bucks, you know? They're like 60 to like a hundred dollars sometimes. Like, no, I'm cool. Like, I mean, if maybe if I had the money like that, I would, but... So, yeah, sorry, I don't have no freaking Halloween diamond painting pen, like... So, I guess that's a new. What is your favorite fall or Halloween diamond painting tray? What? I don't have one of those either. Um, cute. <laughs> uh, my white one. No, I'm just joking. I literally don't even have that many trays left. I sold a lot of them last year. Um to like to have money to go to Colorado to see my sister you know so I guess it would be no tray is my favorite Halloween tray <laughs> um do you have a favorite painting you do you have a favorite diamond painting you have completed I thought it was a Halloween diamond painting oh no I guess no I I don't know I hope I did this question right do you have a favorite diamond painting you have completed but I swear it was supposed to be Halloween diamond painting if it was then yes, but diamond, of course I have a favorite diamond painting I completed, like, you know, but I think it was supposed to be, do you have a favorite Halloween diamond painting? I hope I'm right. Um, and if that's the case, then my answer is yes. And that is my, I just did a stash video on, on my channel if you want to check it out, but it was the one I showed on there, Hazel from Dreamer Designs, obsessed, loved it. Oh my gosh, that painting was so fun. So yeah, that would be definitely my favorite Halloween diamond painting and it might be the only one I've done but I could be wrong so but it's definitely my favorite um do you have a fall or Halloween painting that you are saving for a special occasion no no like to be honest I'm surprised I even got the hazel diamond painting it was just like a whim one day but I'm not I'm not into like Halloween that much I'm not like oh Halloween's my favorite you know I'm like more of a Christmas person if anything so so the answer is no to that Again, God, I'm freaking boring on these questions right now. Um, do you have a dream? Do you have a large stash of fall or Halloween diamond paintings? No, I do not have any actually. <laughs> do you have a dream fall or Halloween diamond painting that you wish would become real? What? Who wrote these questions? I'm sorry, but what does that even mean? Do you guys understand that? I don't get it. Like, do you have a dream fall or Halloween diamond that you wish would become real? No, I'm just gonna say no, because I have no idea what that even means. I'm sorry, I just don't. My answer is no. Um, do you have a favorite artist for fall or Halloween diamond paintings? Yeah, definitely. That would probably be uh, the Dreamer Designs um, artist. Curtis Reykjavik, the one that the Hazel that does Hazel, the one that I showed. Um, he has some badass uh, art with the with the Halloween um, cartoony girls and stuff. Obsessed, love, love, love. Um, so that would definitely be my favorite Halloween artist, I guess. Um, for fall or Halloween paintings, 
Have you ever tried a Michael's Make Market Fall or Halloween diamond painting or project? Nope. <laughs> I really want to though. I, I've already saved a couple in my cart, like of Make Market. They have some really cool ones, but they're not even Halloween ones. Like, I don't think. Yeah, I'm almost positive none of them are. They're like beachy ones and stuff. So the answer is no to that again. Would you rather have a diamond painting with majority DMC 310s, black drills, or 740 orange drills? Probably orange. I don't like black drills. It's not that like the color bothers me or anything. It's just I have bad luck with when I get a lot of 310s. It's always trash, like tons of trash in them. Like drives me nuts. So I guess it would be I'd rather have a, a lot more orange than black, even though I hate that color, but I'd rather have like nice drills instead of a bunch of trash drills. You know what I'm saying? Do you like to do any special diamond painting projects? <laughs> What kind do you prefer? For example, stickers, tissue boxes, pumpkin skulls, light up boxes. Um, if not really, but if I had to pick one, which I kind of like to do, would be like notebooks, like the ones you could put, you know, the drills on the notebooks. Because I like, I love writing. I mean, I'm a more of like a physical notes person when it comes to anything than I am like to put it on my phone, which is weird. I do both actually, but more so physically on notepads. I have like a ton of them. So I guess it would be on notepads. Um, let's see, would you rather diamond paint with candy corns for pens or use your favorite diamond painting pen, but have to use a fall leaf as your tray? Oh man, that's a hard one because the leaf would be a, annoying as hell, but then the candy corns, I'd be like eating them. So. I'd be eating my pen every five seconds. That's such a hard question. I guess the leaf thing. I'd, I'd rather have a leaf as a tray. But that would be almost impossible to do. But so would having the candy corn as a pen because I would keep eating it. Like I wouldn't be able to contain myself. So I guess I'd have to choose the one that's not as bad for me. And that would probably be the leaf, I think. That's such a weird question, but yeah, it is kind of funny. All right. Um, so I guess I'd rather choose the leaf as a tray. Would you rather use a jack-o'-lantern as your light source or a fall candle as your light source? Ooh, I hate, I already have terrible vision. So probably the, it's like the same thing almost. I guess a candle then, cause at least they smell good. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, the candle, I'd rather choose that for a light source um, or a fall candle, you know? Would you rather diamond paint on a hay wagon ride or diamond paint in the lobby of a haunted house with a fog machine misting the room um hay ride i would make do haunted houses i don't do i'm chicken shit i mean i wouldn't even go on a roller coaster till i was like 25 like seriously i am a yellow my dad used to call me a yellow jacket i'm so chicken when it comes to rides i hate roller coasters i hate haunted houses i hate scary movies i'm just like not down for the get down you know like i'm not a fan so yeah I would definitely do the hayride thing, no matter how bumpy it was. I will take that than being in a lobby of a freaking haunted house with being scared every five seconds because I'm so chicken, you know? <laughs> um, what's the next question? Okay, is that it? I oh, don't know. Would you rather switch colors every time a trick-or-treater came by or switch between single placing and different multi-placer tip every time you hand out candy? This approves to, or this applies to Halloween night. Well, no kidding. Um, <laughs> I don't multi-place. I mean, well, you guys might be proud of me. I actually started to practice the other day. I was so proud of myself too. Um, but yeah, I don't multi multi-place really ever. So I guess it would be switch colors. I mean, I'd have to be honest, right? Like, why would I say multi-place if I don't ever do it? So yeah, switch colors every time. Uh, what was it? I would rather switch colors every time a trick-or-treater came by. Um, and I think this is the last one. Would you rather diamond paint with a, with a Bobby Boris Pickett monster mash on repeat or Michael Jackson's thriller on repeat? Oh, that's easy. Michael Jackson all day, all day, all day. I mean, the monster mash songs like cutesy kind of, but come on, it's Michael Jackson. And that song is so like iconic. You know what I'm saying? Where's my tweezers? Who stole my tweezers? <laughs> I can't find my tweezers, and I hate that I have a hair right there. I swear I get hair on my painting all this freaking time. Oh my gosh, they're trying to get Ah, 
Where is it? Oh, I see him. Stupid. Sorry, guys. But it's like irritating me like crazy. Oh, don't tell me I lost it. Oh, there it is. I see you. I see you. So, yeah, I guess those were the full questions, but they were kind of weird. But whatever. I mean, it is what it is. Thank you for still to uh, Diamonds and Thoughts for uh, informing me on that. Oh, I see another hair. So I can answer those too. What the heck is going on with this? Like, oh, it's on my tray. I'm like, where is it? There it is, stupido. There. Come on, guys. Cooperate. Come on here. Get off. Don't be dumb. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, those are my um, fall questions. Like, this woman chat's going to be so short. Like, that sucks. Well, kind of. Not really. But it's, it is what it is. I have nothing I really want to talk about. And, yeah, sorry about that. But I'm just, like, so annoyed, as you can tell. But... I do have some good news. What is that noise? What? Sorry guys. It's like breaks like crazy. Um, I wonder if Sammy's home. If he is, I'll just like stop and start again later. But, but yeah, so those are my fall questions. Anyway, like I said, um, I do have some videos coming up, believe it or not. I cannot wait to post one, but I have to wait till the stuff gets delivered. But you guys, I'm going to hook you up. Let me just tell you, whenever I get this certain thing, I can't wait. And I really, really am excited about it because no one's ever like hooked me up like that before to where I can hook other people up type stuff, you know? You'll know what I mean when I, when I post the video. So just, I'm so excited. I can't wait till I can do that for you. And what else is happening? Let's see. Um, I will be having another time lapse shortly on this and a review. Um, probably in a few days or so. Um, well, the time lapse I will do first, obviously, and then I'll do a review probably the next day after that. And like, give me like at least three, four days maybe. And then I'll have another whip and chat too. Um, what else is coming up? Oh, I have a couple other things coming up, but it's a surprise, so I can't say it, so. So, yeah, I have a few videos coming up. One that I'm really excited about. And, um, I think that's about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and my title, or my thumbnail, says Boyfriend for Sale. So, I was really thinking about it, right? And, obviously, like, I'm not a fan of Sammy right now. So, I'm taking offers. So, if you guys want to shoot one in the comments, let me know. I mean, I want minimum 20 bucks. I mean, that'll maybe cover gas if I have to deliver them halfway. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. D you know, that's allowed, right? Is that legal? If not, then I take it all back. So, <laughs> well, we just got really dark all of a sudden. Okay, clouds just randomly show up. <laughs> oh, you guys. $20 or best offer. <laughs> No, but seriously, like, I'm sorry, you guys, for this rant video. That's pretty much all it was. Like, I've only been on here 36 minutes or something. Like, but you know what? I just, like, if you guys only know, just, I apologize for venting and ranting, but, you know, who else am I going to rant to? Like, the wall? Like, you guys are the, the homies, you know? Like, <laughs> I just had to get it off my chest because I felt like my head was going to explode. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, I love you guys. You guys are the best. Oh, and that's what I forgot. I have a giveaway coming up. Well, I hope so. I mean, I don't want to like jinx myself or whatever. But I I do have a giveaway coming up shortly. It's not like, oh, because I got a certain amount of subscribers. You know what I mean? It's more just like, because I've noticed that like um, when I checked all my like analytics and stuff, right, when I came back. Like, nobody really, like, unsubscribed me or, like, dropped me. So, like, that makes me feel so good about myself. And you have no idea what that does for me and my self-esteem. And that's why I love you guys so much in this community. But, um, so, yeah, I'm going to do, like, a giveaway. But it's not really for any reason. Just because you guys are so cool. And, like, I love you guys, basically. It's all I'm doing. It. And so, yeah, I'll, um, it's going to be in a few videos, actually. Pro definitely by next week, no later. And it's going to be so badass, the gifts I have coming up for your the winners. I'm going to have two. Okay, so stay tuned. 
thank you for watching my rant and um you guys are the best and like i said i'll put everything in the um, description box down below if this is still in stock that is and diamonds and thoughts channel um go see her if you don't know about her you should but if you don't go check her out i know you you will love her um okay so and just know i appreciate all of you all my viewers all my subscribers you guys are the shiz naive and i will see you guys next time bye